I have absolutely no wish to take part in this competition. If you want me to act as a professional athlete, you ought to pay me like one. You don't even look like a hobby athlete. <laughs> I won't fight against demons. I know that rabbles into cheating. Are you discriminating against the demons just because they are bigger, stronger, and better looking than you? That would be a violation of Kalaba's new law against the discrimination of demons. Are there other participants as well? At the moment, we have the following participants. Gerald, Max, and Simon. Hey, wait a second. Who said I take part? We said. And if you say something else, we'll smash your funny face in. Got it? What will I have to do to win this competition? The great sporting event in honor of King Kalaba's wedding will cover three disciplines. The traditional race over hedge and ditch from the forest crossroad to the finish line, which you can see right behind me. Racing sounds promising, but I hope they don't want to speed us up with a pit bull on our heels. Followed by a discipline for the mental sportsman, the Game of the Kings. Game of Kings? Intrigue? Royal murder? Levy taxes? Doesn't sound bad. Phew, for a moment I feared I'd have to play chess. Finally, the athletes will prove their physical strength. Since there were countless unnecessary casualties at the last wrestling competition with demons, we've gone for weightlifting this time. Weightlifting? Uh, just a moment. I already prepared myself for spin the bottle. I'd even play the strip version. No, no, we don't play spin the bottle anymore. The intellectual demands are just too high. Furthermore, many athletic associations complained because it doesn't allow for doping. What's the trophy? Gold? Silver? Gems? The one and only reward will be to attend a unique once-in-a-lifetime event, the Wedding of His Majesty, including a dinner at the Royal Table and an interview for the position of Royal Advisor. Who wouldn't take part? Royal Advisor? And apart from me, there's only these dumb demons competing? If Kalaba wasn't such a rogue, I'd pity him. Yeah, better pity yourself. If you get in our way, you're done for. Where are the spectators? Looks rather dreary here. Uh, it's a mystery to me. How can the people ignore such a festive day when we offer them feasting and festivities? Well, perhaps it's because only the festivities are sponsored, and not the feasting. See you later! There's something in the machine. Okay, let's start this thing. Too bad the king isn't here to see it. He'd probably like to see the machine in action. This is a lot of powder. I'd say it's about the quantity of a... Mm. Human being? Your majesty, is that you? God, what have I done? Yes? What do you want? Calypso, why are you flying around here? Alex is getting married. Yes? What do you want? What is this strange device? I don't know. I think I... Uh... Forgot? Exactly! That's the word I was looking for. I'll go now. What's up? Alright, then I'll go for it. Very well. 
I'll register you on the list of participants. Simon, right? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. At last. Oh, yes. It took a while. Ladies and gentlemen, attention, please. The competition starts now with the race over hedge and ditch. Will all participants please proceed to the starting point at the forest crossroad? The race runs over the bridge and through our town's beautiful streets up until where I now stand. And please don't block the finishing line, otherwise the competition must be repeated. Come on, come on, don't stand around. Are you ready for the race? I'm ready for the race. Great. All other participants are ready to go. We can finally begin. On your marks, get set, go. Hey, wait for me. Darn, they're too fast. Where have they all gone? Hello? Well, I'll give up. They are much too fast. Ladies and gentlemen, a sensation. The winner is Simon the Sorcerer. Far ahead of the field, he's seemingly effortlessly approaching the finish, followed by his unyielding opponents, Gerald and Max. Will they be able to get closer? We're watching an exciting finish, and... Simon is first to finish. Applause, ladies and gentlemen, applause! And here are the remaining competitors. The second and third place go to Max and Gerald. Applause! Max, you idiot! You let him pass! Wasn't it your job to... But I didn't let him pass! Did it escape your notice that the blockhead finished ahead of us? Uh, on closer examination, do you think he knows our shortcut? Why don't we know it then? We are the dire demons, after all. The first contest is decided, but there's still two challenges waiting for our champions. Simon the Sorcerer will now compete against Max the Demon at the Game of Kings. This duel of minds will give us supreme strategies and extreme tension. The following decision was made by drawing lots. Max will play white and Simon black. May the best man win! Should one of the participants feel the call of nature during the tournament, you'll find the toilets at the nearby bar in Gutter Alley. Have fun losing, Sorcerer! <laughs> All right then, let the game begin. Mental exercises are much more to my liking than dumb racing about. Very much unlike you. Hey, do you want to offend us? Ah, he just wants to make you feel uncertain. Don't worry, we'll give him a good fight. Hmm, a most interesting opening move. I know it from Kramnik's match against Deep Charlie. Afterwards, it actually went downhill for him. Uh, Gerald, what am I supposed to do now? Can I put my queen where his is? No, Max, you plonker. Make that move. No, better this one. Hmm, seems to be a dragon variation. How stupid, as I am with black, I have an advantage. Let me think. The dragon variation works differently. You take some matches, flare all pawns, steal the opposing queen, and then blackmail the king to checkmate himself for the old bird. Please be silent, I can't concentrate. That's very unsporting. Did you hear that, Max? Poor little Simon has a lack of concentration. A cute little pentacle. 
with a bit of occult lighting, it would be a first-class demon trap. That will be an enlightening experience for my dear demon friend. What is it? I hope it's important. You're interrupting the course of the competition. Excuse me, sir, but I have to pay a visit. Go to the John. Just be in your cape. <laughs> Please, gentlemen, even competitors should stick to certain rules of common decency. Simon, behind the archway to the right, you'll find the bar that has offered the use of its toilets. I'm sure there isn't anything hidden in there. Hey, I wouldn't trust him. I'll follow him in case he's got a crystal ball in his undies. Darn, what swine is playing around here with magic symbols? That kind of thing should be forbidden. You should have a bit of respect for fire, you dumb demon, especially when it's lying around in funny shapes on the ground. Typical beginner's mistake. You son of a... I don't believe in taking things like that too personally. So long, Mr. Demon. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of the tournament is back from the toilet, and now he'll impress us with some more of his well-thought-out moves. I'm back. Oh, your friend seems to be off. Much the better. Let's continue without any interruptions. Uh, where's Gerald? Gerald! Hey, Gerald! Well, who cares? I'll make this move. Ah, that's a mistake. I know it from the Kalich versus Karpov match. So... Hey! My lovely knight! That's mean! This is a stupid game! No, it doesn't work like that. You can't just take two pieces in one move. Let's see. Now everything's fine again. And now for my counter-attack. <laughs> you wanna worry me like that? I'll show you! Hmm, you took my queen. Hey, it was a valid move. Not intelligent, but valid at least. And now watch this. Back in 2004, Kasparov had the right answer to that one. Look here and weep. Checkmate. <laughs> Congratulations, dear Mr. Demon, you fought valiantly. Last it, I've lost! When I get hold of Gerald, I'll ring his horns! And we have a winner! It's Simon the Sorcerer! A title he deserves. He's a real magician of mental exercise. Applause! Thanks, many thanks. <laughs> Too much glory, it wasn't that hard. <sighs> Of course it wasn't hard, cause you cheated! You spirited Gerald away! Far from it. That would be black magic and I have nothing to do with anything of the sort. Just you wait, you mean little wannabe sorcerer. I'll hang you up by your cape until you're green, yellow and red. Then people will take you for a traffic light. Silence, gentlemen, please! We now proceed to the last and deciding category, weightlifting. Can these two demons turn the game around? One point will be scored for every hundred pounds that can be lifted over a period of ten seconds. One hundred pounds? Oh no, the demons will win this competition hands down. Any questions? 
How does the weightlifting work? At first, all participants will get some warm-up time. Of course, you can revitalize yourself with a pizza, but I wouldn't advise it. Giovanni's pizzas sometimes turn up positive in doping tests. When all participants have completed their warm-up, the final competition will commence. Oh, nothing in particular. Good day, my friend. Is Swampy around? Yes, he's here, and he's boiling with rage. Oh, why is that? Show me your membership card, for starters. It's none of your business if you're not a member. I, uh... I must have mislaid it. I can't believe that it isn't here. I'll come back as soon as I found it. That's where my double is. We might get into trouble if I turn up there as well. Hello, I want in. Here's my membership card. Oh, our founder gives us the honor. That's good. Swampy's back again and he's boiling with rage. Boiling? In a figurative sense, I hope. He cooks badly enough without rage. Well, he's just boiling and cooking. And he's angry. He wants to create a new swamp stew that'll make everybody like him. He's trashed three kettles already. I'm immunized against this stuff. Hope so, at least. Really? Would you be so kind as to put in a good word for me? Because I don't want to eat that stuff. I know that it's against the rules to say something bad about the stew, so all I say is that I won't eat it. Never. Hey, you came back! Yes, but for you not. I forgot Stu. Luckily, something is there still. Not everyone greedy like you. I'm greedy for this mush? Yes, you always jump at Swampy Stu. Over now, this is. I'm not allowed to eat swampy stew anyway. I fell in a pot of it when I was a child. Me don't want to see you anymore. I've had enough. This guy needs some friends to calm him down. But as long as he's terrorizing everyone with his hellish concoction, that's not going to happen. I think it's time my green buddy started to realize what his stew does to people. I think I should cook him a normal stew, which of course he'll find disgusting, Perhaps it's the only way he'll realize how people feel when they eat his stew.